Hi, I'm Julie Hoffman. I'm the Street Smart Diva. I'm a real estate investment coach, and you're here to learn more about real estate investment. Uh, this is video two of uh, getting to know myself, and if you haven't seen video one, then make sure and go back to video one and have a look at it, because it's got a lot of free content and a lot of useful information. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of background about myself. I grew up like a lot of kids. Um, I had a really nice family. Uh, I did what my parents told me to. Um, well, actually, I, I was kind of a sneaky kid. But for the most part, I did what my, pa my parents told me to do. Um, I got good grades so that I could get into a good university and I could get, get a good education so, so I could get a good job. In fact, I have two university degrees. I have um, a bachelor's degree in exercise science and a doctorate in physical therapy. Anyway, I, I was working, I, I met my husband in graduate school and got a job right away and within a couple months we were pregnant with our first child. And um, when I was about five months pregnant, my husband phoned me from, from the road and he said, honey, I've got a great idea. Let's start investing in real estate. And I said, okay, you know, sounds, sounds fine to me. Um, we, can, we can invest in real estate, that's fine. And uh, I actually ended up doing a lot of the work because I had, I had more time. So I could make phone calls on my lunch break and I could um, go see properties on the evenings and on the weekends. And um, just real quick, uh, referring back to, to, to video one, I talk a lot about how um, you can get started. The two, the two most common objections when it comes to real estate is that uh, I don't have any money and I don't know what I'm doing. So video one tells you exactly how you can get started without any money and without knowing what you're doing. So again, go back there, uh, have a quick look at the video. I'll be here, you know, for when you get back, no problem. Um, and I've got some more free stuff for you today. Anyway, um, looked at properties within a couple of months before my baby was born, we had three properties. So the first property that I bought was from an investor and I only had to put $5,000 down. I didn't have to qualify for financing. Um, he was motivated to sell because uh, he was facing carrying another property going into the winter, which is very expensive. The second person that I bought a property from was a guy who had, unfortunately, he lost his wife. And so there were just reminders of him everywhere, you know, of his love, of the mother of his children. So he could not wait to get out of his house. So he, he allowed me to take over his financing. I put $25,000 down. So his motivation, you know, it was pretty obvious. The third property that I bought was a gentleman who had got a job in another city. So he had already bought a new house. His family already lived there. And he also faced carrying a vacant house because he had no interest in being a landlord. Um, carrying a vacant house going into the Christmas season. So all three of the people that I bought properties from had different motivations. So again, back to video one, you get the uh, motivated seller worksheet. It takes you line by line, everything you need to know about a property if you're looking at it. And it also gets the details on the financing uh, on the property because the easiest way to buy properties, low money down or no money down, is by finding a motivated seller who will allow you to take over their financing. The other thing I want to point out is, yeah, I put $5,000 down and $25,000 down and another $25,000 down. Well, I want you to know that half of that money came from my husband's best friend of 20 years because we decided to partner up. So total of $55,000 that we put, put down on, on three different properties, half of it came from our business partner and the other half came actually from a line of credit on our house. So it was technically not any of our own money. It wasn't our savings. It wasn't our RRSPs or, our, or you know, any kind of retirement savings. It was basically from the bank. And so you know, that can happen. That's a perfect example of how you can get started in real estate without your own money and without qualifying for financing. All right, so I bought three properties. And I thought to myself, I, all right, I'm good. I've got three properties. Now I'm going to have a baby and then I'm going back to work because I had gone to university forever. I'd gone for the equivalent of 10 years because I, I took a lot of summer school. So um, my intention was, was to go back. Now, as it happened, 
along came this beautiful little girl, my first child. And I felt madly in love with her, just like every mother does. And I suddenly realized that I wanted to spend as much time with her as possible. My education <laughs> no longer mattered. So I took advantage of 12 months of maternity leave that we have in Canada. It's paid maternity leave that you have in Canada. We are so lucky to live here. Anyway, took advantage of my maternity leave and I went on to buy another 12 properties. By 2006, I had purchased um, 36 properties and we now had three children. All these properties that we bought were uh, no to low money down and we didn't have to qualify for any of the financing on any of the properties because we found motivated sellers. So by 2006, I was ready to take the next step. And the next step for me was to um, invest in multifamily or apartment buildings. So I put a call into a realtor. Her name is Pam Gill. She's a big heavy hitter in Edmonton. Uh, one of the most successful commercial realtors that uh, is in Canada, I think. And uh, I said, I'm interested in buying an apartment building. And she called me about a week, week and a half later, and she said, I think I might have a building for you. And I said, okay, well, tell me about it. And she said, um, well, first of all, it's only 15 units. And I said, okay, well, I, I really didn't, okay, what's wrong with that? She said, well, most people are looking for buildings that are, you know, 20, 20 doors or more, 20 units, 20 doors, I'll use the term interchangeably. And I said, no, 15 sounds fine. Again, I really don't know the difference. <laughs> and uh, so she kind of took a deep breath and she said, all right, well, well, here's the other thing. You can't qualify for financing on this property. You have to take the, pro you have to take the financing that's in place. It's called an agreement for sale. Um, the reason why is because there's a huge payout penalty on, on the mortgage that's in place. So you have to take over the, the financing. And I said, okay, yeah, um, that sounds like a really good thing. What are you worried about? <laughs> what are you worried about, Pam? And she, she said, wait, you understand what I'm talking about? I said, yeah, I've done that in, in the past few years. I've done quite a few agreements for sale. It's, it's an awesome way to buy property. And she said, okay, well, you're still going to need $100,000. And I said, um, okay, I can do that. And, and she's a smart realtor. She, she said, really, um, how, how are you going to do that? Because, you know, again, she's a smart realtor. She's going to pre-screen her buyer. She's not going to waste a bun bunch of time with me if I'm not for real, right? So I said, well, actually, I have 36 single-family homes. Well, duplexes, fourplexes, condos, that kind of thing. And she said, really? And I said, yeah. And I've been buying them since 2001. And she said, really? And I said, yeah. And I think I've got about uh, a little over $2 million in equity on these properties. So I should be able to pull some equity out of them. And, um, and yeah, I should be able to get $100,000. And she's like stunned because I was, I think I was 37 years old. It was not that long ago. But it, uh, I, I, you know, I was young. I, she knew I had three kids. She kind of wasn't taking me very seriously. But, you know, I think she suddenly knew that she had found <laughs> something. <laughs> anyway, I said, well, I need to talk to the seller. And she said, that's fine, yeah. So she introduced me to Camille, the seller, and he ended up selling me about four more buildings. And he's a really nice Lebanese guy. And uh, I said, Camille, why are you selling it this way? Uh, why are you giving me such a good opportunity, just out of curiosity? And he said in his very thick accent, I won $100,000. And I said, um, okay, uh, why? And he's like, well, this is how I live. I'm a professional real estate investor. I don't do anything else. $100,000 takes care of me for a year. And I said, okay, fair enough. That's a, that's a perfectly re good reason. Um, I'm going to go get that money for you now, and we're going to get this done. So I actually was able to go pull $100,000 of equity out of three houses of, um, of my 36 properties and I was able to buy a 15 unit apartment building without any of my own money. Remember, it's all the, it was all the bank's money and I didn't have to qualify for financing on it. So it was a huge leap uh, to go from um, 
houses, anybody that has, whether it's five houses or 50 houses, it, it's a big step to go from houses to multifamily. It, it's almost like buying your first house. So I had a 15 unit apartment building. And Pam called me about a week later and she said, have you ever thought of investing in condo conversion? And I said, no, I have not because I do not know what that is. Kind of like I'm clueless because I was. And she said, well, it's really simple. All you do is you take a building and you buy it. And I know you can because you told me about all these houses that you have over here with all your equity. And, um, and then I'll help you get the financing. Yeah, you'll, you're going to have to get financing, but I'm well connected. And she is and she was. And um, you just have to come up with a down payment. I'll help you condo convert it. And all, all condo conversion is, for those of you who don't know, is um, you, take an apart, you can take an apartment building or even a townhouse complex that's, that's a full rental complex. And you take each individual unit and you make it its own separate title. And she said, once, once that's done, then my brother, uh, Cam, uh, Camille, uh, no, Cam, sorry, getting everybody mixed up. Cam will uh, sell your, he'll sell all the condos. And he's sitting there and he's not, and he's like, yeah, I've got, I've got guys lined up. They can buy, you know, $100,000 condos. They can't buy a $2 million building. And I'm like, okay, so, you know, what are we talking about here? Like, let's, let's talk some turkey. Let's, what am I going to make, right? And uh, they showed me how I could make $300,000 on one building. And yeah, that got my attention. So I said, okay, I'm going to figure out how to make this happen. I, I actually sold some of my houses, took the profit from the houses, bought the building, and they sold the building within one month. Sold out. And I ended up making closer to $400,000. It was absolutely insane. It was so, it was amazing. I, I couldn't believe at, you know, the world that I had stepped into. And so we went and did it again and again and again and again and again. We had five very successful condo conversions. We made profits anywhere from $300,000 to $800,000 per building. And it was absolutely so much fun and we were we were making all kinds of money and enjoying the heck out of it, buying Cadillac cars and big boats and big houses and oh, just having the time of our life. So if you ever have an opportunity to get into something like that, I highly recommend it. I mean, quit while you're ahead, but I highly recommend it. Uh, it, was, it was a lot of fun and, and, and I'm happy that I got to be part of it. Um, the problem was is that we decided to, to let it ride, uh, basically. And it's just like it sounds. It was like letting it ride is a gamble. We bought another five units, uh, five apartment buildings, because we were just going to do what we had done before and sell them quick. But we bought them going into the recession. We bought them going into the fall of 2007. So for those of you who don't know about uh, how real estate cycles work, when a major real estate um, economy slows down, the, the two first uh, real estate investors to be affected, um, the first one is bare land, uh, people who own bare land, um, because gophers do not pay rent. The second, second investors to be affected are condo converters or condo developers, and that's what, that's what we were. And so everything stopped. It was like a brick wall. Um, we went from buying a building in, and, and selling it within a month to not a single buyer in sight. And it was, it was scary. It was really, really scary. Um, and I had purchased all four of the five properties with the equivalent of a credit card. Um, it wasn't literally a credit card, but it was like 21% money. Uh, mortgage lender because I wasn't going to hold on to these buildings. My plan was not to hold on to these buildings for long. I was going to sell them in a month, right? Because that's what I did. But uh, the market had other plans and my buyers were gone. So I spent the next 18 months actually refinancing each individual unit. I refinanced um, 100 units basically. I took them from 21% money 
to uh, to prime money, which means like around three three or four percent. So what that did is on paper, it took us from negative forty thousand dollars per month, basically hemorrhaging money, uh, to on paper. <laughs> positive cash flow of $12,000 per month. So I thought I, you know, I thought I had gotten really close to fixing things that we could just hold on. We had been experienced landlords. We could hold on and we could um, just let, uh, let the economy recover. Well, the, the economy had other plans. And on my spreadsheet, it looked like I should have positive $12,000 per month cash flow. But what, what you can't put on a spreadsheet, unfortunately, is the fact that all, all five of our buildings were in really, really bad are, areas of the city um, where we were investing. Um, you can't put into a spreadsheet bed bugs or prostitutes or um, drugs or higher than normal vacancy rates because, you know, we're in a really, really slow economy. And um, the worst part about it was that we uh, had invested in everything with, again, my husband's best friend of 20 years. And um, so he was still our business partner and the, and the partnership started to collapse. So basically after four years, um, part of it fighting for the business and then eventually fighting with each other, uh, we went from multiple millions of dollars in net worth and um, assets to multiple foreclosures and bankruptcy. So it was a really tough, obviously a very, very tough time in my life. Now, um, there is absolutely light at the end of the tunnel. Since then, I have rebuilt a multi-million dollar real estate portfolio. It's got great cash flow, haven't qualified for a single loan again, and I haven't used any of my own money. Uh, but there were a lot of times uh, during this, this challenging time in my life where I, I thought to myself, why? You know, why is this happening to me? And um, I made a discovery that the reason why I had to go through everything that I did was so that I could help teach people how to play the game of real estate and win and not take a lot of risk and be able to sleep at night and to be able to help them hands on. So believe it or not, it's really been a gift. And speaking of gifts, what I want to share with you today is something called the Street Smart Analyzer. All right, so again, in video one, I talked to you all about how um, if you practice looking at properties and you know exactly what to look for and you make enough phone calls, or not, you don't even have to make phone calls actually because of the internet, you can just look at 100 properties a day if you want to. But uh, if you look at enough properties, you're going to know exactly what you're going to need to know about, about houses or condos or whatever you're deciding to invest in. That's going to help you feel like you know what you're doing. It's going to give you confidence. And best of all, it's not going to cost you anything. So to add to uh, the, the Motivated Seller Worksheet, I've created the Street Smart Analyzer, and this will help you analyze the numbers on every property that you look at. It is a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet, and it's something that I actually invented along with some just genius masterminds who totally helped me put this, uh, put this calculator basically together. Anyway, uh, it's a free gift to you and I'm sending it to you uh, along with a complete video tutorial on exactly how to use it. So important to know what's going on when it comes to the numbers. It's going to add that confidence level to you so that, you know, when you decide to take that next step and actually buy a property and, you know, I totally recommend that you do sign up for my upcoming Street Smart Buyer course because I'm going to go a lot more in depth in property and paperwork and negotiations and scripts on exactly how to, you know, talk to people. But regardless, use this free tool. Um, have it help you understand the numbers. When you understand the numbers and you know what to look for in property, then it is. It's going to give you that added level of confidence so that you're going to feel better and better about getting started. So it's not going to cost you anything and you are. You know, once you practice these tools, you're going to know what you're doing. So 
that's my free gift to you. We've got another video coming and it just kind of gets a little bit more in depth into uh, my story and how I might be able to help you. And I really appreciate you being here today. Now all you got to do um, is enter your information uh, below. You're going to get the second, the second free tool, the Street Smart Analyzer. Also, if you could please uh, leave a comment in the Facebook um, in the Facebook comments, that, that would really be awesome. Or if you could like this, I would appreciate it. Um, everybody likes a like, right? And, and any comments or suggestions, I'm absolutely totally open to. I want to know, you know, how this is making you feel, what kind of an impact it's having. So uh, stay tuned for our next video. Thanks a lot for coming here. Um, make sure and complete your information in the box below so that you get my second free tool. And if you haven't seen video one, yeah, go back there and, and have a look at it. And uh, there's a there's a link for it here on this page, so so you can it'll just take you right back there if you if uh, you want to use that. And um, we're going to see you next time. Thanks a lot.